focus there. Okay, that's pretty good. That's not bad. So yeah, basically what I was going to do today is hop into uh, Resolve and go through a couple of clips, some stuff that hasn't been actually used yet. That's for some upcoming uh, YouTube videos. And uh, yeah, just kind of play around. Uh, if you were interested in Dehancer, um, this is a great opportunity to just see me kind of play around in it. I know that video can only be so long, so um, I can only give you so much of the editing uh, part. So here's, I think, an opportunity if you want to watch this. Uh, I'm just going to sit here and play around with it and, um, yeah, and just do some color. So we'll go ahead and bring up the monitor and switch over to Resolve. And so here uh, we have a whole bunch of clips. Um, went out to a park uh, in Maryland. And basically, you know what, before I do this, I would be interested. in if I, how, hey, people are asking questions. Sorry, I need to pay attention to that. Is Dehancer in free version of DaVinci? No, Dehancer is a completely separate company, completely separate product. It's a plugin, a film emulation plugin. If you email them, reach out, they will give you a like two week trial. Um, and then I have a code in that video where you can get, I think 10% off um, of if you purchase it. Um, so yeah, or only in the studio one. Yeah. So hopefully that answers your question. You have to buy it separately. Um, we said, Hey Nick, how's everything going with you? Everything's going great. Um, I'm actually about to color grade here. I was just going to try to figure out, um, I've done this before, but to overlay, let's go ahead and try it. I'll go ahead and turn my monitor on and do one of these. Oh, there we go. Okay. That's probably going to work. Okay. And let's get back over to resolve. Let me just make sure we don't have any other comments. Okay. We don't. Okay. All right. So we are in resolve and basically what we're going to do this was at a park in maryland uh, i was messing around with some clips earlier we're obviously going to start from scratch um, this clip here i definitely enjoyed so we're going to bring that down and i go over to color first thing oh this is not the clip we want we want this one and i do kind of just try to pick a general frame um, to work with and then I just I just go from there. So this is, of course, the most beautiful woman on the planet. She's always available for me to, you know, use her as a model. She's very um, she's super nice. She she is a very nice lady. So, uh, OK, what we're going to do is come down here since it's this was be raw. We're going to change this to clip. Uh, I'm going to leave it on Gen 4. Um, you know, you, you could go to Gen 5 and obviously you can see how much more flat it can be. And we're not gonna apply a LUT here because we're gonna work with LUTs and then Dehancer and a few nodes. Um, then we're gonna we're just gonna leave this alone for now. Uh, we'll go ahead and just label this our base. And uh, we're gonna add this and we're gonna add, call this our LUT. And in here, we're gonna go down to the new G3. And I guess I will just go neutral. Let's go neutral. So right away you see what happened there just by adding that beautiful phantom LUT by Joel Famolaro. Um, his actual blood and sweat is in the LUT itself. So <laughs> you're really getting something. All right, so we're going to add another uh, node. We're going to enable this one, Dehancer. Um, and this is more, I don't always label this. This is just so you can kind of see. We're going to add Dehancer, and of course, it kind of jacks up the image there. Let's take away these nodes. We don't need them right now. Um, and that's just because it enables a bunch of stuff uh, initially. So we're just going to take a bunch of that off because we're not even going to use 
uh, all of it, but uh, let me check the chat real quick here. Okay, no, nobody's asking questions, but we're here. We're here to answer your questions. Ask away. Um, okay, so everything's there. Now, if I hadn't applied a LUT, if I hadn't applied the phantom LUT, this is where I would go in on this input source and I would change this. Um, actually, no, we'll talk about that in a minute. I'll, I'll do it that way. But for this one, uh, I'm just going to come down to print. And this is where I'm really loving this contrast tool here. And, um, you know, it, it's tough to see probably now live, but just um, it gives you a little more just fine tuned, tiny increment. Of, of movement and I feel like the contrast tool here this tonal it does something a little bit different than the traditional one so I again you know personal preference move it around how you please I like all the color coming out of this let so I'm not going to really change anything film grain is really why I'm here um, and so I'll go ahead and kind of zoom in a little further so you can just see the default film grain which is great I think the default setting is really really good I leave the amount right around there I'm gonna bring all of these down I'm not a hundred percent clear on you know exactly how all these work I just think that which you know raising and lowering film resolution is going to make the grain a little blurrier maybe uh, and then you have again fine control of shadows midtones highlights I just want to have them all even and kind of not as impactful. And then I can go ahead and bring up my film grain that way. So you can kind of see it's very small, but it can make a big, just barely moving, it makes a big impact. So we'll still uh, leave it at 20. Eh, no, let's bring it up. Let's bring it up to like 25. Um, and so, yeah, um, I was shooting with the Freewell, uh, the variable ND. Uh, with the mist and that's actually on right now so hopefully you probably can't really tell maybe that light back there there's a little bloom on it I have no idea um, but yeah so you can do that in Dehancer you can actually add uh, extra bloom if you're not shooting with any kind of mist or you know black mist filter but you can see um, I can't I hate when it doesn't let me let you oh we don't want to do that let you move it around. Um, but basically, if you look up in here, or all around here, her face, you just see a small bloom there. Now, of course, I can you know blast this up. I can amplify it and see you'll start to see it a lot more. Um, but we're not going to use that for this clip. So that's pretty much it. I, the only other thing I would do is I may go back to our nodes, go back to the base, and I may uh, come in here for the primary, and I may do a little more fine tune adjustments. You know, maybe I just want a tad warmer. Um, you know, this contrast does something a little bit different. So I want to fine tune that a little bit, maybe add just a little more sharpness. Uh, overall um, shadows the highlights uh, which actually the highlights I do want to mess with so uh, there that's there's your image right there and if you just go ahead and click that off and see where we started wasn't a whole lot of work um, definitely was not a lot um, yeah so that's that clip, and once we go through a few of these, I will show you kind of an edited version of something that'll be coming out in the future. Okay, so go back to cut, and we'll pick one more clip. I don't know which one, though. Maybe I'll do, let me bring this one down, and I think there's some there's something good in here. So again, we're gonna start with the similar process of changing it to clip and just in case you know we, we may want to adjust some of these things um, and I was not even on the right clip all right let's say we're gonna edit edit this clip so let's I guess just start uh, this is a good spot this is a good spot you get the the Sun coming in from the back it was kind of overcasty 
that day as well. Um, so we'll go ahead and change that. We're not going to apply any LUT to this one. So this is just going to be our base. And then we're going to add a node. And we are going to call this our Dehancer node. And we're going to apply Dehancer. And we're going to do the same thing we did before. So take off any of this. We don't need it on right now. And why am I, why is my, there we go. All right, so first thing we do is you want to choose camera. For us, of course, Black Magic. And it says pocket 4K, but it's for 4K and 6K. It's the same color science. Um, so if anything, they should just take out the 4K so we just know it's for the pocket because I know that can get confusing. And then you're going to select film. And then you see it slightly adjusts some things right there, just kind of, it's not really Rec. 709. It's just giving back that color from the kind of the base film LUT maybe that's uh, I'm not exactly sure uh, where that's coming off of. And then now is where the fun part starts. So this is where you can add your film stock. So you hit enable and we're on vision three. And obviously you could see, you know, what's uh, what's happening there. If that's what you're going for, that's great. Um, we can check a few of these. Let's see. Fuji. C200 and okay. Um, Fuji C200, Natura, and you know, I'll just go down a few of these. And this is just on the neutral, it hasn't been pushed, hasn't been pulled. Um, and this is all obviously base, you know, you'd want to do something more with it. Um, let's see how about. Portra, Portra 400. You can go to some of these really old uh, cinema stocks. Let's go with the uh, Agfa Color 100. Okay, let's let's work off that one. I really like that kind of has like a dreamy vintage look. Um, and yeah, we don't mind it. And so the push and pull on some adjust the colors and adjust some of the contrast. Uh, that's what this one looks like it's doing. It's just a little bit of that, the contrast. So we're going to go ahead and leave it in the center and see what it does there. It changes her shirt color. It takes the hat. It sort of kind of kills it, pushes it down. Um, now we're going to go down to print and we're back to that contrast and see it just kind of brings the richness back into the shot. So we'll pull that out. Um, color density, same thing. You can kind of see more color. And so we'll pull that up. It's going to pull a little bit of her, a little bit of the flesh back out. Um, and yeah, film grain, of course. Uh, maybe we want to add, let's go up to 30, but let's match. Let's try to just bring these in the rough, rough area. I'm not really a stickler on that, but um, yeah. So there's, there's this clip, and if you bring it back here just to get an idea of the difference, you know. Pretty simple. Uh, not, not really anything crazy um, at all. Here is a, um, let me go ahead and turn the, okay, it's already on, I believe. Here's, here's something, let's see, hopefully this, this should play. You should play it, okay. And so all of this was graded in Dehancer, in Resolve, and then now it's in Final Cut, where it's awaiting other footage, talking head, and uh, yeah, talking all about the, uh, the film ending, which is on there right now. So um, yeah, there's the clip that I graded pretty similarly, oddly enough, from, from what we just saw, you might not have known until the difference. And a few of these clips have the neutral and phantom light, and some of them were created separately. Um, and you may, if you watched it a few times, you would definitely notice the differences. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's what's going on there. And um, we'll go ahead and let me fit this back to the screen. All right. Ba, 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 ba. So yeah, we have what three viewers right now? Wow, unbelievable. Um, 
so yeah, that's uh, Dehancer. If there's more questions, I would love to talk more about Dehancer, about color grading, um, whatnot. I think when this, when I end this, I will let this one kind of live for a little bit to help uh, anybody who wanted to see Dehancer a little bit more because there definitely was, I got some questions of, you know, wanting to see a little more in depth. And I think going live is probably the best way to do that. Um, Cause I can answer your questions right here. Hello, Nick. It's interesting to see how Sony footage will look in Dehancer. Yes, I don't have any on hand, but yes, you're absolutely right. Uh, I think it will do great. I mean, the, especially the 10 bit out of the A7S III and if it's an S log, uh, I don't see why it won't, you know, handle it really, really well. So there's just something in Dehancer that is uh, has been really thought through very well. Um, you know, it, it looks really complicated, but yet you move those dials and you really start to get a sense of uh, control and that you can actually manipulate it the way you want. It's not, you know, here's a color corrector but it really isn't pulling it in the directions that you want you just i think the program thinks it's going in the direction you want whereas dehancer is actually letting you decide where you want to go um with the image so yeah i don't know i think i think that's part of it um but uh yeah so anywho, you know, that's that's the whole kit and caboodle. And um, yeah, how long, we've been live for, I wish it told, 21 minutes. We've been live for 21 minutes. Ah. Um, yeah. Okay, well, uh, if anybody has any questions, drop them in the comments. Um, I'm going to keep this video posted for a little bit. I'll... I'll probably just leave the title the same. So, uh, yeah, until then, um, yeah, I'll pop on here every once in a while. Maybe I should get on here at 7, 8 o'clock at night. I don't, I'm not sure where uh, the perfect timing is to do one of these. I know it's the middle of the day for a lot of us, so it's harder to sit and watch a live stream. But, um, yeah, let me know when that time is good, and I will pop on here. But until then... Go create something.